Hello guys, welcome back to War Thunder and welcome to an F4E Phantom 2 gameplay. Now, this plane. Oh my god. I really like the F4 since they were added into War Thunder. Like, uh, they added the F4C. And then they moved on to adding the uh, FTR. Then, uh, that's my gear. Well, I guess I don't need that. And, well, they added uh, the F4E and the F4EJ. Now I have tried the uh, the F4C when it was uh, on the uh, dev server, like the first time, and it was uh, absolutely nuts. It could uh, roll good, it could uh, turn good, it it has everything good, everything in its advantage. And then War Thunder said, "Okay, this is completely unrealistic. This uh, F4C is not supposed to outturn a T2. Let's just tone it down a little bit." And uh, the community went mad about it. Like, the community, they freaked the fuck out. And that's what, one of the main reasons why I don't like dev server uh, tries and shit like that. But that's not my, that's not my, uh, well, talk for the day. Anyway, the F4E reminds me of the dev server F4C. Like, it has that rem maneuverability, it has that extra turn time, let's just say it. It is really agile. It's so agile that it has the uh, saber problem, which is adding those boosters on the uh, side will rip your wing. Yeah, I have that kind of problem because I'm aggressive when I fly. I like to be extremely aggressive. I had to remove the boosters because this plane would rip when I use it. Now, I'm not one of those kind of guys that go rushing and, yeah, well, do it split, uh, sp uh, spit flyer way or orange way or. No. I'm that kind of guy that likes to be patient with his time, patient with his uh, climb. I do climb in jets, even on lower tier jets. I rarely rush. Unless I know the map inside out, I rarely rush. But climbing allows me to uh, get a feel for the battle. I know where everybody is going. I can see everybody there away from me. Now, I'm trying to head on this uh, MiG-19 now. I'm always radar locking because radar, uh, like missiles in this game, especially uh, the later aim lines, like the M9E and the M9J, uh, they uh, they are radar assisted. It's it's uh, it's it's really nice actually. But yeah, assistant depends on the situation. I can see two F4 EJs. They are extremely fast. They can go faster than me, and that's why I like to climb. I can with, with a little bit of a climb, I can give my plane a little bit of an advantage. So, I'm trying to find the uh, well, the best target uh, to pick off, no, to choose. I uh, launched a missile extremely late at the uh, F4EJ. I did not get the kill. However, I can see a T2 trailing our friendly MiG-21MF. So, I get on behind him. I tried to get that radar lock, but it doesn't help. I launched the missile anyway, and look how the missile goes. <laughs> yeah, amazing. It's just like the wobbliness in it. Uh, the F4E is completely uh, tunnel visioned on the uh, MiG-21. I launch a missile at him. He dodges it late and uses flares at the same time. So that's my second kill. Now, I'm on the ass of the F4EJ, and uh, I'm not going to waste my last missile on some guy that is turning. I want a uh, secure kill with it, because I already used three of my missiles, one missed, and one is still here. Now, I'm trying to engage this phantom, uh, this uh, hunter, I'm sorry. And the hunter is one of the... Like, it's one of those jets that I really don't like to mess around with. Because it has those SRAMs uh, 
thingies, missiles, they're literally uh, bullshit on a stick. Yeah, I don't like that. And uh, he can fire them at one kilometers, at one kilometer range. So, yeah, I need to take him out. Uh, to me, he's a big threat. Even though that I have flares, he can still kill me. At the same time, I'm keeping an eye on the F4EJ that, well, three of my teammates are gangbanging, including my uh, squad mate, uh, Goodwin. Shout out to Goodwin, he's a good guy. Anyway, I tried to uh, lob a couple of shots on the uh, hunter. No. Uh, I can really manage my speed in this thing. I can really, really manage my speed. I can lose a lot of energy. I'm dogfighting an F6. Look, I know that the Phantom is heavy. I know that the Phantom is... Meh. But the way it loses speed in the... Like, this particular plane, the way it loses speed, like, it's mind-boggling. And uh, for the life of me, I do not have to use these goddamn guns. Uh, I have trouble using these... Uh, Cannons, these Vulcan or uh, M whatever cannons, yeah, they're not my choice. I would love to get uh, the cannon on the what's it called, the MiG 19, yeah, the 30 millimeter, beautiful cannon or 18 cannons because uh, this plane is not good for uh, reaction shooting. Like, this gun is not good for reaction shooting at all, it needs to spool up, it needs to do its thing. I don't like it. Anyway, moving on for the last guy on the team. Uh, Goodwin is on his six, uh, and he's in the FGR two. Now, if you don't didn't know, guys, the FGR two has the best thrust out of uh, all of the uh, Phantoms out there. Now. I'm on Discord with him, he's telling me that he's uh, critically damaged, I'm trying to rush in, I'm going Mach 1.6, excuse me, and I'm just trying to get a lock so I can uh, well, get the F4 uh, EJ off of his 6. Sadly, Goodwin gets taken out by the EJ, I intercept the uh, target, I lead my shot a little bit, get that closer rate so he cannot use the flares, and I send my missile on my, on its merry way. Uses the flares, dodges it, but leaves the afterburner on. That's a GG, four kills, and the match is over. Uh, the F4EJ, well, the F4E, not the EJ, excuse me, is one of my best, well, it is the best jet that I've flown in game, aside of the MiG-19, uh, of course. It's really good, it's really nice, it is fast, and it's maneuverable. Anyway guys, thank you for watching, hope that you enjoyed the video, fly safe, have fun, and I'll see you on the next one.